Have you ever wondered why some of the world's most creative minds are often introverts? It's a fascinating question, isn't it? In a world that often associates creativity with extroverted behaviors, it's easy to overlook the potent creativity that lies within the introverted individual. You see, introversion isn't about being shy or antisocial. It's about where one draws their energy from. Introverts, as it turns out, are powered by their inner world. They thrive on solitude, introspection, and deep focus, all ingredients that are crucial for creative pursuits. Whether it's painting a masterpiece, penning a novel, or crafting an innovative solution to a problem, introverts have a unique ability to dive deep into their thoughts and imaginations. They don't just think outside the box, they build an entirely new box from the ground up. Unveiling the secret, introverts are not necessarily shy but are simply energized by solitude, which sparks their creativity. History is filled with examples of introverted creators who have made significant contributions to art, literature, and science. Let's journey back through the annals of time and meet some of these remarkable individuals. Take Leonardo da Vinci for instance, renowned for his artistic mastery and scientific curiosity. Da Vinci was known to be a quiet observer preferring the company of his own thoughts. His introverted nature allowed him to delve deep into his interests, resulting in masterpieces like the Mona Lisa and innovative ideas in engineering and anatomy. His creative genius was fueled by his solitude, his ability to observe the world in detail, and his profound inner world. Next we have Emily Dickinson, a luminary in the world of poetry. Dickinson lived much of her life in solitude, which lent her the space to explore the depths of human emotion. Her poems filled with introspective insights have touched the hearts of readers for generations. The quiet beauty of Dickinson's work is a testament to the power of introverted creativity, and who can forget Albert Einstein? This theoretical physicist, known for his theory of relativity, was a self-professed introvert. Einstein once said, the monotony and solitude of a quiet life stimulates the creative mind. His groundbreaking scientific theories, born from hours of quiet contemplation, revolutionized our understanding of the universe. Not to be overlooked is J.K. Rowling, the introverted mind behind the magical world of Harry Potter. Rowling's vivid imagination, honed during periods of solitude, brought to life one of the most beloved literary series of our time. These are just a few examples from a long list of introverted creators who have left an indelible mark on our world. Their introverted tendencies didn't hinder their creativity but rather, they served as a catalyst allowing them to delve deeper, think profoundly, and create masterpieces. It's clear that these introverted creators drew strength from their reflective nature, leading to groundbreaking works of art, literature, and science. Their stories remind us that introversion isn't a barrier to creativity, but a gateway to unexplored depths of innovation and imagination. So, how exactly do introverts tap into this wellspring of creativity? That's the question we're exploring next. It's like walking into a hidden garden, brimming with vibrant colors and intricate patterns. But how do these quiet individuals cultivate such a lush landscape within? Firstly, introverts harness the power of their rich inner world. This is a place where ideas grow like wildflowers, where thoughts and feelings are seeds waiting to bloom into something beautiful. They draw from this internal reservoir, using it as the canvas upon which they paint their masterpieces. Whether it's a poignant poem, a captivating novel, or a breathtaking painting, it all begins in the mind's eye. Secondly, introverts are known for their deep focus. In a world buzzing with distractions, they have a knack for shutting out the noise and zoning in on the task at hand. This laser-like concentration allows them to delve deeper into their work, to explore every nook and cranny, every shade and texture. It's like a miner digging for precious gems. The deeper they go, the more exquisite the treasures they uncover. But let's not forget the reflective nature of introverts. They're known for their propensity to ponder, to mull over ideas and experiences, to seek understanding and meaning. It's this reflective process that often leads to profound insights and innovative ideas. It's like a river that's constantly flowing, each thought and feeling a drop of water contributing to the stream of creativity. And what about solitude? Introverts thrive in it. Solitude is their sanctuary, where they recharge and reconnect with themselves. It's during these quiet moments that they often experience bursts of inspiration, as if solitude is the key that unlocks the door to their creativity. In essence, introverts have a unique way of interacting with the world around them. They're not merely observers, 
they're active participants absorbing and reflecting, then transforming their experiences into creative expressions. Introverted creators are experts at turning introspection into art, transforming their inner world into something tangible and inspiring. So the next time you see a masterpiece, remember it might just be the result of an introvert's vibrant inner world brought to life through their creativity. But how can you, as an introvert, tap into your own creative potential? Well, it starts with recognizing that your introverted nature is actually a superpower when it comes to creativity. Let's discover how you can leverage this to nurture the genius within. Firstly, embrace solitude. As an introvert, you're naturally inclined to enjoy your own company. This is a fantastic asset. Solitude can be a breeding ground for creativity. It's when you're alone that your mind is free to wander, to dream, and to connect ideas in unique ways. So carve out time for solitude. Whether it's taking a walk in nature, meditating, or simply sitting quietly with a cup of tea, these moments of solitude can spark the most brilliant creative insights. Secondly, cultivate deep focus. Introverts often have the ability to concentrate on a single task for extended periods. This is known as deep focus, and it's a crucial tool for creativity. When you're deeply focused, you can delve into a problem or concept, exploring it from all angles and discovering novel solutions. So, make it a practice to disconnect from distractions and immerse yourself in a creative task. You'll be amazed at the depth of your insights. Lastly, celebrate your unique perspective. As an introvert, you see the world in a unique way. You're introspective, thoughtful, and sensitive to subtleties that others might overlook. This unique perspective is a goldmine for creativity. It allows you to create art, write stories, and solve problems in ways that no one else can. Embrace this uniqueness. It's what makes your creativity truly special. Now, nurturing your inner genius is not a one-time event. It's a lifelong journey of self-discovery and growth. It involves stepping outside of your comfort zone, trying new things, and constantly challenging yourself. But the rewards are immense. You'll find yourself creating work that is deeply personal, meaningful, and impactful. So, remember, your introverted nature is not a limitation, but a treasure trove of creative potential waiting to be tapped into. Creativity is not confined to the canvas or the page. It permeates everyday life, especially for introverts. You see, the vibrant inner world of an introvert is a constant source of creative inspiration. It's a playground of thoughts, ideas, and imagination that never shuts down. This creativity seeps into their daily lives in myriad ways. It's not just about painting a masterpiece, writing a novel, or composing a symphony. It's about seeing the world in a unique light and using that perspective to solve problems and generate innovative solutions. For instance, an introvert's ability to focus deeply and think introspectively can lead to exceptional problem-solving skills. They're not just thinking about the problem at hand, but delving into its roots, considering multiple perspectives, and imagining various outcomes. They don't just seek solutions, they create them, born from the fertile ground of their introspective minds. In the professional realm, introverted creativity comes to life in innovation. Introverts often prefer to think before they speak, resulting in well-thought-out ideas and strategies. They're the ones in the meeting who, after a period of quiet reflection, come up with an unexpected approach or a unique perspective that can bring a project to life or save it from disaster. But it's not all about work. Introverted creativity also shines in personal pursuits. Whether it's crafting a beautifully written journal entry, designing a cozy reading nook, or even cooking a meal that's as pleasing to the palate as it is to the eye, introverts take ordinary activities and infuse them with an extraordinary creative touch. And let's not forget about social interactions. Introverts might prefer one-on-one -on -one conversations over large gatherings, but they can turn these intimate settings into a stage for storytelling, sharing their experiences and thoughts in a deeply engaging and imaginative way. So you see, Introverted creativity is not a rare gem to be displayed in a museum. It's a common stone, shining brilliantly in the daily grind, transforming the ordinary into the extraordinary. As an introvert, your creative potential extends far beyond traditional artistic pursuits. It's a vital part of your everyday life. So, what have we learned about introverted creativity? We've journeyed through the fascinating realm of introverted creativity, and it's been quite the eye-opener, right? We've discovered the profound connection between introversion and creativity, with introverts often drawing from their rich inner worlds to fuel their artistic endeavors. We've delved into the lives and works of legendary introverted artists, writers, and thinkers, 
such as Leonardo da Vinci and Emily Dickinson, showcasing the powerful impact of introverted creativity throughout history. We've also explored how introverts infuse creativity into their daily lives, turning the mundane into the extraordinary. Moreover, we've shared insightful tips on harnessing your own introverted creativity, from finding inspiration in solitude to cultivating a deep focus. Remember, introversion is not a barrier but a wellspring of creativity waiting to be tapped into. Embrace your introverted nature and unleash the creative genius within. The world is waiting for your unique contributions.